Hey guys, it's Jules here, and today I'm going to be doing this kind of mint-inspired um, makeup tutorial. As you can see here, I have like a really nice mint color, and just a little bit of smoke on the edges. So basically, I feel like this is one of my favorite colors for summer because you can see my fingernails, my toenails are the same color, I just am absolutely obsessed with the color mint, so I thought I would try to make a little eye makeup tutorial for this, so here we go. I already started with um, some primer potion on this lid, now we're going to take our 88 color matte eye color palette and just... <coughs> excuse me, a medium shadow brush and we're going to be taking this kind of a shimmery mint color right here. So the thing about the color mint is that people always try to tell me that it's blue and so I don't know whether I should call it like a light blue or a light green because I think it's the color mint but a lot of people are like no dude that's definitely blue. Anyway, so this is like really light, but we're going to put this all over our lid and just pack it on there. This is a pretty matte color, but it has a tiny bit of shimmer to it, so that's good. And just bring it up a little bit past the crease. And once you have that all covered, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to be taking our crease brush. This is just a really small crease brush. I like it for doing um, the inner corners because it's more precise. And we are going to be taking our Urban Decay eyeshadow. This is from my famous palette box. And we're going to be taking Homegrown, which is this nice shimmery green. It's a uh, more of a green. You know how mint, the color mint has like a lot of blue in it. This is more of a just green. So we're just going to pick up a little bit and go on that inner corner. And just bring that up to about like one third of the way out. just do a little bit more. So you want to blend the colors in really nicely. And then we're going to take the same color and we're just going to bring this and line it all the way across the bottom. Alright. <coughs> now we're just going to wipe this brush off. I can find something to wipe it off with. And we're going to use this for our crease color, which is that kind of dark green. And this is called Misdemeanor. It looks kind of gray, but it's, it has like a nice green tone to it. So just pick up a really tiny bit because it's very dark. And just put this onto the lash line. And then bring it up into the crease. and bring it almost all the way over. Might have to go back and get some more. Oops. And just make like a really nice shape of that. You can kind of bring it out. Okay, so now that we've blended that out, we are going to take some eyeliner. I'm going to zoom a little bit out. We're just going to take our cream gel, I don't know which one it is, cream eyeliner from High Intensity Pigments. It's my favorite one. And this is just in black. We're just going to take an angled brush, dip that in there, and line the waterline. I 
Alright, and now that we've gotten that, we're just going to take the same eyeliner and draw a really, really thin line right on our lash line. And if you're not good at doing really straight, thin lines, I suggest doing it in little segments and then connecting them. Alright, almost there. And then with that, we're going to kind of make it just a, not like a wing. We're just going to flick that out there. Because we have, it goes up a little bit on this side. So we're just going to connect our waterline with this top line. So that it kind of just completes the look. And now, close that up. We're just going to finish this off with some mascara and our look will be complete. This is just a Maybelline Volume Express Turbo Boost. And I really like this mascara because it has a really thick brush. So it gets all my lashes. That's my dog barking. It's her birthday today. So I guess I'll let it slide. <laughs> Just do a little bit on the bottom. Oops. If you mess up, just kind of wipe it off. Fail. <laughs> that always happens to me. Okay. So there we go. Our finished completed mint look. I'll do it with a closed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I did because I love the color mint and I'm really glad with how it turned out. I think it looks nice. It's always good to experiment with colors for summer. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys watched my um, video talking about how I have like a Twitter, Formspring, Facebook fan page so that you guys can keep in contact with me, send me some suggestions, and I will make these videos for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I love you.